Good morning to all of you. You know what time it is. It's Tea Tuesday time. We join in with our awesome friends every Tuesday with Life with Patty and Kathy's Favorite Things. They're both awesome channels. Please go check them out and see what they have to share with you today. And here we have our table all set up for Valentine's today. I thought it turned up really cute. What do you think? The flowers I've had for some time and they probably came from Hobby Lobby or from Walmart. My beautiful butterfly and bee is from Mackenzie Child's collection. You know I collect those pieces. And as you will notice here, I have a lot of pieces that are not Mackenzie Child's, but they work really well with them. Like my brand new elf that I got at Home Goods for Valentine's. This was my big expense this year for Valentine's. I did buy a few new things, but not too many. Most everything you're going to see are things I already owned and had. Here she is wearing her beautiful hat. It says, I love you on it, and the black and white check ribbon, and the pretty rose, and her beautiful blue eyes, and her beautiful little pillow that says, Happy Valentine's Day. Isn't she sweet? And her great little heart choker she's wearing. Isn't it cute? The pearl buttons on the jacket and it's beautifully done. What do you think my dear friends? I really loved it. And of course these beautiful black and white check trees. I bought these if you can believe it at Dollar Tree for a dollar and a half. No, I say dollar. I bought them for a dollar a piece so two of them were two dollars. But I'm not counting that as a cost because I already have viewed them in a video. The container, I couldn't tell you if they're from Dollar Tree or if it's from 99 cent store, but it doesn't really matter. It's already had it for quite some time, another free cost. The tray and the beautiful teapot are from Hobby Lobby and I bought them three or four years ago. And at that time I was already wanting to collect Mackenzie Child, so I thought these pieces would go well with it and I paid $45 for the two pieces on a 50% sale. So I paid a lot. The treats were a gift, so there was no cost for that. I've already used the napkins in a post and I've already had the cups and saucers and spoon and the little container with the milk I've had for 22 years and the little container for my tea and artificial sweetener also about 20 25 years so this is my tea for two and as you can see i have an extra cup out that's for you pull that chair out and sit down and let's have some chit chat let's see what grandma is going to share with you today on tablescape tuesday and i want to show you another way you can design something without spending any money now this i've had probably for a couple of months i bought it before christmas but it didn't bloom in time for me to share at christmas time but it is blooming beautifully now and i want to share you with it with it all bloomed out doesn't it make a beautiful display i love how it looks and how you have all the beautiful red and white tips do you see that oh my gosh it's just beautiful and as you can see it's still not ready done blooming i have more ready to bloom at any time here's another angle from this plant and you can see even more ready to bloom out and you see it in there oh my gosh it just keeps blooming and getting more beautiful every day i really enjoyed it i almost wish i'd bought two of them i think i paid I don't know if I paid 10 or 15 for it, and I think I bought it at Trader Joe's, but I can't be wrong. It's been a couple months since I bought it, but I should have bought two. So next year, I think I'll try buying two because I want to have a lot of beautiful things in my home and garden. Here's my instant garden. Look at how beautiful it looks. You could set this up in the garden or you could set this up as a display on the table. So however you want to use it, doesn't it look beautiful? Now it cost me quite a little bit. There's a lot of plants here. But I'm going to share with you a lot of different displays where the same plants 
and share. You can make a lot of posts from just buying a few beautiful plants. Let me know what you think of this display. This is number one. Now, when I bought these, I didn't buy these all at one time. And I don't know if you can tell because the way they're all put together. But the centered little six pack is a couple of weeks older than the ones on each end. So that means when you come back, you can see there's more height in the center. Just by buying a couple things a couple of weeks ahead of time, you will have your height and have a better display. Let me know what you thought. I thought it turned out great. Now here's another instant garden or an instant display for a table. Now, if I was going to do this, I would put some moss around the top of these pots and you would think it was a beautiful display. But I'm just giving you some inspiration what you can do. Now you can plant it in the ground like this or you can do a tablescape like this. You decide what you want. And all you have to do, if you're going to use it for a tablescape, go buy yourself a few packages of moss and put around the pots and you'd never know they're in their containers. It is just beautiful, isn't it? This is our second one. A beautiful instant centerpiece for any table or banquet. Or a beautiful instant display in your garden. Isn't it beautiful? Look at how pretty and full everything looks. And nothing is actually out of its original container and with a little bit of grass clippings or moss would look beautiful in anyone's garden. And look at how full all the color looks. Be great for a wedding. And then when you're done doing the wedding, you can plant it in the bride's yard for years to remember her beautiful wedding and her beautiful flowers. Well, I hope I've inspired you to go get some fresh flowers and make a beautiful display for your table or banquet or maybe even putting something together in your garden. What did you think about this today? Something a little new and a little different. And I'm trying to get as many posts up using these plants since I spent so much money. I spent so much I'm not even going to tell you how much I spent. That's pretty bad. But it's more than I usually like to spend in any one month for plants. But I want to really get busy getting my fairy gardens put together and get my yard looking better quicker. Now I have planted lots of seeds and this yard will look gorgeous, but I still need something to look beautiful right now, instantaneous. And these are the kind of plants you can do it with. Now these Dusty Millers are going to get really big and they're going to be way too big for this eventually. These Dusty Millers in my flower bed. There are probably three or four of them in here, but as you can see, they look beautiful coming up. They'll get about another foot taller, and these are from last year. So the ones that I bought today, you can see they'll look beautiful in any display I put them in in the garden, and I can't wait to get them planted. And like I said, they get pretty good size. So right now they look sort of small. But they'll get large and they'll be beautiful. And like I said, all you need is grass clippings or moss and this would be gorgeous. You wouldn't even be able to see the containers. But because Grandma wanted to get it done in a hurry, this is what she did today. Just to show you how it could look and what you could do to make it look fabulous. Well, thank you all for coming by. Thank you for all your kindness and all your support. And Grandma will have lots more to share how you can make an instant garden like I did here. And we'll have some more displays with these same flowers and use them multiple different ways. See you in the next video, my sweet friends. Instant garden, what can I tell you? I repeat, you need to put some moss around these, but since I didn't have any moss right now, and I was trying to give you an instant garden, or an instant centerpiece, I'm just sharing you what you can do to give you inspiration. And this one here is all white. Isn't it pretty? I loved it. And there's lots of different displays that you can do with these type of things. 